Hi everyone. This video is to show you how to calibrate two port calibration okay, for Libra VNA. So this is Libra VNA. Okay, to calibrate with the port one and port two. Okay, we have all the calibration kits here. Okay, we have shot here, shot, open, load, and the true. Okay, now we're going to start our calibration. So first we're going to turn on our software. Okay. Okay, now we're going to double click on this application, run it. Okay, now we have turned on the software. Okay, they have no connection because uh, our cable have not connected yet. So we will connect the USB here okay, to the PC. Okay, once we connect it, then you can see the light is blinking here. Okay, then we're going to connect our Libra VNA. Okay, sometimes you need to just close it. Okay, and then reopen back the software, then they will auto connect for you. Alright, so now we have connection. So let's check about the, we can just double click on the graph, okay, or the smith chart. So we double click on this graph. We can just remove the S12. We can just select S11 and S21. Okay, because you are going to carry it for two part. So now we only have our S11 and our S21 is green color here. So we don't have all the calibration measurement here. So we're going to do the calibration for port 1 and port 2. Short open load for port 1, short open load for port 2 and true. Okay, so first step, we're going to do short open load, short open load for each port and then after that we go for true. So we were doing something like, let's say this is the port 1. Okay, we're going to do the calibration like short. Okay. We just connect the shot here now, okay, and then we go for the software here. We just click on shot and we just click on measure, okay. So now we are starting from one megahertz until six gigahertz is fine, okay. Then for open, we're going to remove this one and go for open. We're going to go for open here. So the open is here now. Okay, this is open calibration kits. Then just click on measure. Okay, then we remove it. Okay, remove it. Okay, then we go for load. Okay, now we're going to connect with load. Then we just click on load and measure. Okay, so done measure, then we go for port 2, repeat the same step. We actually doesn't need to follow the sequence, we also can choose like, let's say, now is the load. Okay, I use the load for the port 2. Okay, so just click on load here. Okay, they, they actually need to just save each of the calibration kits in, their, in the software. Okay, let's say this is open. Okay, let's say I connect with the open now for the port 2. Okay, done. Then I just click on open, then measure. Alright. Then after that, we just choose for shot. Okay, and the good thing for Rebra VNA, right, they have shown you how to do the calibration. You can see here. They mentioned like port 1 is open, then open standard connected to the port 2. So for the current situation now, I connect to the shot. Okay. Then is the port 1 is open, that means the cable here is open for port 1. And uh, shot standard is connected to the port 2. Okay, it's in this condition. Then I just click on shot, just click measure. Okay. Then for true, that means port 1 connected to port 2. We are through standard. That means something like this one. I need to use a female to female. Okay, connector to connect my SMA mu to mu. Here. So I connect my SMA mu to mu. Just like this. Okay, so now I have like my connection is like this. Then it's a true. Then I just click on the calibration here. Then I just measure. Then done. So I have calibrated for port 1, port 2 and true. Okay, then I can close it. Then I go back to the software here. 
Okay, you see the result is not that okay yet. Why? Because I haven't clicked on the calibration to enable. So what I calibrate is uh, SOLT is like short open load through. Okay, it's not port 1, it's not port 2. So it's SOLT, just click on SOLT, then you can see I have a good result now. Okay, that means my S21 is received all the signal from the port 1 and my S01 is below negative 50. Okay, over the range. Okay. So let's say I remove my cables. Okay, I remove my port 1. Then you can see the S01 is it's not connected then you can see the s1 is going up straight line because it's calibrated and the s2 one is going down because it doesn't receive any signal so let's say i connect back again here okay so it's connected then you can see here is like the s2 one is receive all the signal okay so we also can save our stack it's like click on save here okay you can go to the cow, save into the one of the file and SOLT 1 mega to here and then 201 point that means how many points over the frequency so just save it okay so that's all for how you're going to do the calibration and you also can check like yeah you can see the S11 now you can add the marker so it's here it's DB you can right click choose table format and go to impedance it's like 50 ohm Okay. also same as the S22 here so you can just add the marker right click choose impedance so it's almost 50 ohm as well okay we also can check on the just right click S12 and S22 so you can see the S22 is the red color line and the S12 which is blue line should be here let's say I remove the S21 yeah, so you can see S1, S12 is here. Okay, and I also can put the marker. Uh, yeah, I can also add the marker here, like S12, or I can add another marker, then I can choose S21. Okay, and in which frequency that I want, let's say 2.4, let's say I double click, I can choose like 2.5 giga. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So that's all how you're going to calibrate for your Libra VNA for two port calibration SOLT. Okay, thank you.